All right, I'm going to ask the most obvious question uh, because you got to remember the majority of the people that watch my content are, uh, I don't know how you want to refer to it as, blue collar guys, if you will. Do you know what I mean? Like I, the people that watch my content are arm wrestlers, powerlifters, bodybuilders, uh, and a lot of blue collar dudes. So the question, yeah. So the question that I'm going to ask that is probably when they're watching this is going to pop into your mind is how the hell do you handle your wife being involved in the industry uh, with, with other men? Because a, a lot of guys would not be able to do that. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I know I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> when, I mean, really it all goes back to high school. When we first started dating, uh, you know, we were, we were rebellious. We were trying to, you know, trying to find a place for ourselves, experiment and, and try to challenge the, the, the status quo, you know, as, as rebellious teenagers. And we kind of both kind of, we both kind of came to a mutual understandings right as we started dating that like the whole concept of like mutualism or not mutualism, that's, that's the wrong word. Um, monogamy in mm. general was confusing. Uh, it didn't seem like it was anything we did as a species prior to industrialization and the rise of the church. And then all of yeah, a sudden, I, it I don't, you know, I don't mean to be, you know, I'm just going to be straight. I don't mean as like, you know, a philosophical standpoint, I'm talking about how do you watch another man with, a, with your woman is, it, you know, because but I mean, uh, that philosophy ties into it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But if you, if because if, what I, but, 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 yeah, I, I, yeah, I understand that learning and, and, and reading and expanding and is fine. But uh, there are guys that are, you could, you know, read as much history as possible and they're never going to want to see that woman with another man. But all I'm saying is, well, I would ask them why, what's the problem? Because, well, I could, I could go into that for you if you want, because, okay. all right, um, a man's biggest fear is, um, yeah. what? Dying. No, no, no. No. Um, no, a man's biggest fear is raising a child that's not his. Which I don't is, think that, I yeah, don't think that's true. Which is the, I've never well, once thought of that. You, and I, you and I are from a different, different mindset. Um, a man's biggest fear is finding out that your child is not yours. So I actually kind of take personal offense to that because so, well, my, let, let, let me, my let grandparents me. adopted my mother and her uncle. So yeah, my let, grandfather raised a child. Let, let's just let me finish. Children. Yeah, let me, let me finish. And I don't mean it to be insulting at all whatsoever. And well, no, no, I, no, no. I, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, and, uh, you know, that's why men are very protective over there. Well, generally speaking, generally speaking, I understand that there are people that aren't. That's why men are usually very protective over there wife instinctually that's why men really can't uh see their wife with another man instinctually that's why it's not when, instinctually it's conditional that that is a, it's a conditioned learned behavior you not, think you think that that's conditional yeah absolutely it's a society yeah. it's a societal thing especially because it's also not it's also not universal to humanity I, I have to. Res I have to respectfully disagree, but I, I understand where you're coming from. You can continue. You disagree that there are cultures out there that aren't monogamous and that the no, 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 not at all, not at all. I, 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 I. Well, that's, what, I that's what I'm saying. If, no, if I, 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 I disagree that it's not instinctual. That it is instinctual. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it is instinctual. But there's no evidence for that. And there's tons of evidence that exists that it is isn't instinctual. Instinctual. Man right. raised children in large groups. There was no single father, single mother raising children. It was entire groups of men and women together raising all of the children together because that ensured the survival of the species. So, like from an evolutionary standpoint, mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. And then from a culture, I mean, again, there are cultures that exist that don't have it because it was never taught to them. Okay. Monogamy has to be taught to you. Otherwise, Look at animals and, and look at other animals. Right. Most other animals aren't human beings as animals aren't monogamous. Yeah, usually it's mostly with animals. It's usually mostly one dominant male and many and many females. I mean, that speaking. depends on the animal. Yeah, but um, but it's and again, uh, again, I'm being. I, I need to. I need to stress that I'm. I'm. I'm as re being as respectful as possible. This is. I just need to stress that I am not. Uh, you know, being disrespectful whatsoever. 
Oh no, I don't. I, I've, good, I've good, not good, once good. taken any disrespect. All right, right. good. Because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Right. But it's it. All I'm saying. Oh, I'm just me, a man of science. I, no, I, that, I, I, I understand, but it. it I, I, and it, so when people start saying things that are pseudoscience and trying to back up their ideas, okay, it's something that I instinct, instinctively want to kind of correct. Or no, I, I, that's fine. I, I get it. I get it because that's what guys do, and that and that and I respect that honestly because that's what guys do. Guys get into deep conversations about deep stuff that matter. Men do for sure, but there yeah. are a lot of boys out there who act like guys who can have this kind of conversation. Absolutely, a hundred percent. But it's when it see when when I I just wanted the basic answer. So what I mean by that oh, is the only when, you, when mean, you watch your wife with somebody else, it doesn't bother you. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. I mean, listen. If it doesn't, hey, that's great. You know. What, but uh, you know. But so so there was no fear that she will catch feelings with another guy. There's no fear that she will enjoy sex with more than with another guy. There's no fear that she will be physically attracted to another, another guy. Well, so all of those things are not mutually exclusive to our relationship. Um, so as far as her falling in love with another guy, I don't think that's possible. Just because we shaped who we are as people, and so our we share a lot of common like viewpoints and opinions, so much so that we can almost read each other's minds. In order for her to, she always okay. She always used to tell me, "It's not that I love you; it's just I hate you the least." She is not, she's a very misanthropic person by nature. She was a goth girl. She's, she's got all the spikes still and the fishnets and all the black pentagram clothing. She's, mm -hmm. she's got that attitude about her. She's, mm -hmm. And she's a Jersey girl. So we all know the kind of attitudes they can have. But like, she has a heart. She's tried dating other people. We've both been in relationships with other couples. We've both been in relationships with other individuals. And she, we always kind of come back to each other like holy shit you mean you mean, you mean you mean breaking up and then coming back not breaking, no not breaking up just while so you, together so you were still together and then you would basically have an open relationship she would date other guys you would date other girls exactly okay who 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 found it easier finding dates <laughs> So finding dates, her, deal, me. Yeah, okay. You went well, on way more dates than I did. Well, that makes sense. That makes total sense because a woman has to, it has got to be like, like a guy will fuck anything. A girl, it has to be like, there's got to be some kind of chemistry there. I totally get it. Yeah, that makes total sense. So, so go ahead. And so like, as far as fa falling in love with someone else, that's not something that can really happen in one sexual encounter. Like something... Yeah, I mean, but ca have to catching, out. catching feelings can. It doesn't mean, have, to have to be love. It could be catching feelings. It could be infatuation. I mean, sure. But, the, but so, I mean, we're breaking down these feelings one by one. So there's love. And then the next feeling was no, yeah. what if she well, physically well, tried to turn on the guy. I just want to, I just want to know, like, is there, you, you don't fear her catching feelings, her being uh, more aroused by a man by you. You don't fear her uh, possibly uh, wanting to be with another guy after the set is over. N none of that bothers you. I don't fear those things because those things don't seem like things to fear to me. Okay. 